All right, back to world one, sorry, level one. We're gonna be entering stage six. So it looks like the stages don't have their individual names. They might, but it's not telling me in game. So this might show off some stuff that we haven't run into yet, being that they're extra areas. But we've got a bunch of um, interesting cannon shots, which will bring us, oh, let us see a little in advance that there is a keychain hiding here. I guess the only purpose for that little gap in the clouds. So we'll turn slightly, go through this rock, get a bunch of stars, and launch to the heavens. The heavens look a lot like the ground. Oh, actually, let's drop our ability and pick up Wing. That's a good favorite of mine. Not as much my favorite as Plasma was, but it's definitely a a long, long-standing uh, Kirby's ability. As we can see, we can't actually get past that tree. Like that tree isn't falling, so we gotta wait for this one to fall. It'll open up a path back to this guy where we can chop it down and take our own path back to get a rare keychain. Unfortunately, yeah, it is not the Sunstone. If there's only one of those in this level, they aren't going to give it to me that easily. What is that? Okay, first things first, let's break this open, get some of our stars, and now we just saw something hiding down here. Oh, it was just an angle, like, was it a platinum one? No, it's just another silver. Head to the top. Two lead, uh, two feathers are enough to kill. Sorry, I'm back in Mario 3 level. What is this item hidden up here? Is it going to be another keychain? Probably. Nope. Just a little bit of stars. Coming closer and closer to the surface, we gotta heal up, so we're gonna eat that pudding that we had. Ah, oh, these guys again. Oops. We landed in a bad spot. So that's what happens if you get hit by one of those rocks. Your power is completely immune to those. Not like you aren't immune when you have your power, but the power stars are completely immune to most hazards. Uh, I assume back in this game, water is still a big hazard. Ooh, are you going to be fire or blazing? Doesn't matter, I swallowed my star. It overrides whatever else you've swallowed, so you get just that ability. Unlike the uh, normal thing that happens when you eat two different abilities. If we drop just down here, we can get another keychain. Still have been given us our sunstone. Let's continue forward. You have a choice of wing or beetle. Well, I'm already in wing, so let's stick with that. We'll pick up our free gift from Waddle D. Well, bandana Waddle D and we'll head over to what I assume is going to be the boss of the area. No other fitting thing to get. And we are fighting Blocky DX. This is going to be a slightly stronger version of one of the enemies we would naturally come across. This guy's representing rock, or stone, or whatever it's called in this one. You can tell by his quick movements. So, we'll just let him face plant. Oh, I was gonna say, and pick up a rock, but I, I suppose not. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the rock power if I wanna have a chance of killing this guy. Because he's a little faster than I'm used to, for sure. We'll heal using our cherry, but that's not gonna be enough. We 
we need his ability to get it. Yeah, those rocks unfortunately do not give me stone. They are just meant to be something you can spit at. Blocky DX. Wait, you flattened me and I kept the item in my mouth? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, we're almost dead, but so is he. Took him down, got our stone ability. Lots of stars for it, a little bit of food, and our sunstone. That is our last available sunstone in the world. Well, level 1 world. And we can head off to what is the boss now because we've gotten all of our sunstones. If I do miss a sunstone, it will be just after that level is completed. I'm just going to go right back into it and collect them. Collect it? Since we should be able to collect all of them our first run through. Huh, Meta Knight Ball. Oh, I haven't seen I haven't played Canvas Curse. Oh, the magical paintbrush and chip. Hello, Waddle Doo. I still prefer Chip. At the... well, we're not quite at the end yet. Let's go fight Boss. Fortunately, we do have the Stone ability. Stone is a very helpful ability against bosses. What are you going to give us? Gave us a power-up juice. And... There's King DDD in the background. We're on our way to save him. Well, kind of. I mean... It's, it's our biggest rival. Why would we really want to save Okay, that's bugging me. Here, go back there. Why would we want to save him? We're up against a killer flower. That is some pretty cool magic, actually. To make a giant tree out of a flower. So we can just sort of spam our rock move and not take any damage. Good job, Giant Kirby. What else do we have? We've got Giant Hand. A Rock. And Atlas. But we'll enter stage two of the fight. The benefit of getting stone is we really have no risks in this fight right now. Like, he's going to shoot Colin at us. But if you stand right in the center, it can't hit you anyways. So now you got to watch out for... And all of his, like, those roots, those were the issue. If we're in a rock form, nothing Flowery Woods can do. Look, it just goes right through us. So, like before, we can just make rocks inside of her hitbox, and that's going to take her out. Some flowers come flying around. They're not going to do anything. So, head to the center, and we can't quite take them out fast enough. But you can see, it's giving us lots of opportunity to get weapons to fight back with all these stars. But you'd have to do it at times like this. So, are you going to come jump at me one more time? You are excellent. One more hit, and you should go down to our old animal buddy friends. Ricky, Koo, and Kine, I think? I don't remember them for sure. But it gives us a grand sunstone. I don't know what the correct term for it is. We get... Okay, I guess don't tell me. And Kirby does its nice dance, his victory dance. With this star, we are... Well, with this sunstone, we are able to grow the beanstalk even higher. We want to get it as close to the next world as possible. Because that is where King Didi has probably been taken. So, we will unlock it by just beating the boss.
We have 100% of this world. We don't really have any reason to head back. We now have reached the second floating island. Yes. Lollipop land. So, fine fields. 13 out of 13. And lollipop land, which will be our next area for next week, I guess. Thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play Kirby Triple Deluxe, and I hope to see you guys next time.